category of question, next category of number of properties issues we need to think about is oddness and evenness. Um, firstly, we need to know that two odd numbers added together are going to make an even number. 1 plus 1 equals 2, to put it at its most basic. Two even numbers together are going to make an even number. 2 plus 2 equals 4. The only way that you can get an odd number as the result of addition is to add an odd number and an even number. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. And all of those rules also apply to subtraction. So odd minus odd is going to give you an even number. Even minus even will give you an even number. Only if the two numbers are different, one's odd and one's even, can the result be odd. So that's, uh, that's, that's one set of rules. The other set of rules that we need to be aware of uh, are about multiplication. Even times even equals even. Odd times even equals even. Only odd times odd is going to give you an odd number. So why is this? Well, it's very important uh, when we're trying to understand these basic concepts that we don't just rely on memorization, but that we try and understand what's underlying these, these concepts. Now, by definition, an even number must be divisible by 2. It has a prime factor of 2. You, you can divide it, divide it evenly by 2. So any number with a prime factor of 2 multiplied by any other number, well, the result is one of the prime factors is going to be 2. So as soon as you do a, any multiplication where there's an even number involved, a number with a prime factor of 2 involved, then the result is going to be even. If it, you can multiply together 16 odd numbers, and the result will be odd, because none of those odd numbers has a prime factor of 2, so the result of that multiplication will also not have a prime factor of 2. But you can multiply those 16 odd numbers together and then multiply them by one even number, and the result will have a prime factor of 